How's it going everybody? This is Nathan at Kitten Equipment Company, your tri-state Northern Kentucky Coyote 5 Paw Premier dealer. Um, today, today I've finally got some different models that are all sort of set up. Um, we still have a lot of work to be done. If you can see back there, let's see. We got a lot of tractors in and we have to assemble them, but I've finally got an NS, it's a new model, an NS, an NX, and a DK. Uh, this one's a DK SE. Uh, this one has a cab. I don't have the open stations together yet, but um, I wanted to show the difference in them because Coyote did something interesting. They released an NS, uh, which is available from 45 to 60 horsepower, and that is the third model uh, between the DK, NS, and NX. It's the, th the three models that exist in 45 to 60 horsepower. So what makes them different? And why would you get one over the other? Um, are the costs worth it? Uh, every situation is gonna be a little bit different. So this might end up being a little bit of a longer video and I'm gonna just throw out all kinds of information. Um, I'm not exactly rehearsed on this exactly, but I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff out there. We're gonna look at some things and hopefully that gives us an idea of what makes them different and why you would choose one over the other. So, um, Let's start with this DK, and again, this one's a cab, but uh, a DK, there's uh, there's a standard shift model and there's a hydrostat model, um, and if you get an SE, like this one, it's going to be a hydrostat. Uh, if you get a standard shift DK, it's going to be, uh, it's not going to have that SE moniker, so that's what makes the DK a little bit different. Um, so they have a, a 45, 55, or I'm sorry, 45, 50, and 55 horse shuttle shift, and that one's pretty stripped down. You cannot get it with a cab. Um, it's going to be on the same frame as this with the same loader, but it's open station only shuttle shift real basic or You can get an SE like this one and you can get that in a 40 45 50 or 60 horse. It's like 57 um, And that one is a hydrostat. You cannot get it in the shuttle shift It's just a hydrostat and it's got a cab on it or, or an open station um, So you can't put a cab on a regular DK. You can put a cab on a hydrostat DK uh, Hopefully that makes some sort of sense so a DK is in that 40 horse range or 40 to 60 horse range. It is the first one they make and it is therefore the lightest, but not by much. Um, if you look on the tires on these, these are actually all three in a 45 horse gonna be on the exact same tires, whether you're industrial, actually I have all three, look, industrial, ag, or the new R14. Um, they're all gonna have the same one. So. Uh, they're on the same size tire. They're virtually the same length, although the NX and NS are going to be a hair longer. Um, they're going to be basically the same width. And I think the weight difference, let's assume that uh, tires are filled, they have a loader on them. The weight difference between an open station NX hydrostat and an open station DK hydrostat is less than a thousand pounds. It's, it's not that much different. So they are really close um, so what it really comes down to are some technical things underneath that make these models different and some standard features um, maybe the physical size of the cab but we'll go over that so uh, a dk like i said 40 horse up to 60 horse uh, it is a hydrostat in an se and this hydrostat is mechanical um, i've done another video that kind of describes the ns um, and the fact that the hydrostat on the NS is also mechanical, but <clears throat> this hydrostat is mechanical. Um, and we'll go over on the NX what makes those different. Um, on the cab model, and this is, this is kind of why I don't prefer to have a cab here. I wanted to show you an open station. On the cab model, the loader is tractor side as opposed to being loader side. But if you get an open station version of this DK, the loader is mounted up here. Or, I'm sorry, the loader control was mounted up here. Um, where the valve body is and all that they do that because on the standard shift DK There's a shifter over here So they can't put the loader stick where the shifter is there you go um, So they have the same loader on those so it is a, a tractor side or I'm sorry loader side uh, loader control um, It's it's pretty pretty simple and broken down. You don't have um, Let's see on the back. You don't have your Three-point hitch that's extendable. You don't have your pin type check chains uh, you do have one standard set of rear remotes that's only on the SE on a regular DK, uh, a shuttle shift. That is not standard equipment. Um, so this one has rear remotes, but it's a very basic rear end. It's it's the internal MLS valve style, um, uh, so it doesn't have draft control. So I usually will call this DK series uh, kind of the entry. Um, it's still extremely heavy and extremely heavy duty. If you get a 
a basic, let's call a DK4510 shuttle shift with the tires filled and the loader. It's going to weigh 5,500 pounds. It lifts almost 2,500 pounds to full height at pivot pin. It's got a 72 inch bucket. You've got your skid steer quick attach. Um, so bang for the buck. If you, if you need a heavy, capable tractor, bang for the buck is in the DK. And then I'll usually tell people if you want to start adding options and features, you can still accessorize it. It's got all kinds of things available. Um, you just do that a la carte. You buy them as you need them and stick them on yourself. So uh, DK. An NS, and actually, you know what? We're going to skip the NS. We're going to do that last because that is actually interesting. Uh, an NX. So here we are at an NX, and I don't have the loader on it yet, but the loader on these is not very different between an NX and a DK and an NS. They're all very similar. Um, an NX, again, a little bit heavier, a little bit longer, but on the same tire. Uh, the loader on it lifts a little north of 2,700 pounds to full height. It's still a skid steer quick attach bucket. Um, the quick attach on the loader to take the whole loader off works the same. Um, but there's little things, um, and I'll show you those, and then there's a whole lot of standard features. So imagine you took every single option that you can put on that. There's probably 20 different options you can put on that, and they're all standard equipment on here. Um, so it has every single standard feature, plus it has some other stuff that you can't add to that DK. Um, and then there's things like the operator station. So um, if you look at an operator station of an NX, it is actually fairly wide and open. If you sit on it, it's like sitting in a recliner. Everything is spaced out. There's plenty of room. You're never going to be squeezed in there. Um, so it is it is big and deluxe and wide. Nice big flat walk through. You can get on and off both sides easily. Um, so it's, it's big. Uh, everything on the back is deluxe. So you've got your extendable links. On an NX, you've got your pin type check chains, you've got a standard set of rear remotes, and you can add another one. And that's regardless of open station or cab, it's all got the rear remotes. Um, and then you've got a uh, bevel gear style leveler, as opposed to a turnbuckle. Uh, some stuff on the rear end that's really fancy, external lift cylinders, as opposed to an, an internal valve, these are external. So they're a little more serviceable um, they're actually because dimensionally they're a little closer to the outside of the tractor or closer to the implement rather um, it gives you a little more lift back here and, and they're greasable and it's kind of considered a higher dollar feature so external lift cylinders you've got draft control pressure sensing draft control um, and I'll show you the lever for that up there but that's something that you'll see on uh, used on ground engaging implements. So you don't, you don't do that a lot these days. You, not very many people plow like they used to, but in the event that you need something that's going under the ground, like a plow or a tiller, and you want it to keep a certain level, uh, draft control is your, your friend. It, it doesn't allow that thing to float up and down. It allows it to keep a level under grade. So draft control standard. Uh, the actual size and scope of it back here is bigger. It has actual uh, different fenders. Um, the DK isn't going to give you this nice replaceable piece back here. Um, it's, a, it's a solid fender if I remember correctly. So a um, little bit different back here, but again, on the same tire. Uh, the loader control on an NX is tractor side. Regardless of if it's a cab or open station, the loader control is always going to be right there in your right hand. And you have a nice big joystick uh, that is pretty ergonomic. You know, I've got big hands and it, it fits well in your hand. Now that's, those are small things. Um, they are big, but they're, they're not like the transmission. The, the transmission is really what makes an NX hydrostat an NX. It's, it is very different. Um, it's drive by wire. So these lead to a little control module that runs back to the transmission and tells it what to do. Um, and because it's drive by wire, it has an absolute ton of features, standard equipment. They don't have to um, like for example, on, if you put cruise control on that DK, it's actually this little mechanical linkage you have to bolt in under there and you wire it in. And when you hit the switch, the linkage snaps on magnetically to the, um, to the actual uh, rod for the hydrostat. So uh, it keeps it in place so that your hydrostat pedal is held down. So all the things that can be added to that for the transmission have to be done mechanically because it's a mechanically driven uh, pedal. You know, you push on that pedal and a rod leads back to the transmission. Because this one is driven by a wire, you can do all those things electronically. It's just as simple as programming it in. So this panel under here has an absolute ton of things you can do. Uh, the main one is this knob. This knob controls how sensitive that hydrostat is. If you want to 
be able to give uh, fine detail movements to the ground. You just put that over on the light setting and you, you can mash that pedal, it'll just gently move. If you wanna do burnouts, you can put it on the max setting and it'll just, it'll catch and give you torque right away. So uh, that is a sensitivity dial. Uh, you do have PTO cruise control and that's something that's on both models. So that's not extra on here. Um, the DK and the NS both have that standard equipment. Um, this is a max speed control setting. So you can drive forward and you can hit that and it'll, it'll ding what speed you were going and then no matter how hard or how much you push down that pedal you are not going to go faster than the speed you were just going so if you have a junior driver or if you're doing some sort of ground engaging work where you need to keep a very specific speed you can just hit that and you can just you don't have to keep your foot in that exact same spot you, you can mash that pedal down and you'll go that same speed um, you've got automatic pto which uh, if, if you're running something on the three-point hitch and your pto is on you raise your three-point lever up right here and uh, it'll turn the PTO off and then when you lower that lever back down it, it kicks it back on for you so um, it's really for like tilling a row you get to the end of the row and you lift your tiller up it'll shut the tiller off and you turn turn around and lower it right back down and start again and it'll turn it back on or if you're bush hogging and you come up on something you really don't want to mow it'll shut that bush hog off for you before you before you catch something that uh, you know when you raise it up in the air it'll shut it off before you catch something you don't want to. So auto PTO, that is also on the uh, NS and we'll go over that, but it's not on the DK. Um, this is linked pedal and that physically links this hydrostat pedal with the engine throttle. So, you know, traditionally you've got a throttle here, but if I want to leave this where it's at and I want to rev the engine up with, with this as I'm moving forward, uh, you hit that linked pedal and it links that to the engine throttle. That's there, and then you've got, this is this is an interesting one, you've got a no stall function. So um, on a hydrostat, as you're driving into things, uh, you'll notice the transmission bog the engine down, and it sometimes can be easy. You're push, if you're in like medium range and you're pushing into a pile, it can be easy to bog that transmission down and kill the engine. Um, so that prevents that from happening. As you push in, it will, it'll basically stop giving power to the transmission before the engine dies so you can kind of catch back up and restart. So no stall, and then you've got cruise control, um, and then you've got a little, uh, this is for calibrating the transmission. So all these are standard equipment, nothing is extra. Uh, you can do all that just from the switch, from the operator station um, on an NX, and it's, that, that is really what makes this thing what it is. It's got the size, it's got the weight, um, and it's got all kinds of standard features with that transmission. So it is really an incredibly deluxe utility size tractor, 45 to 60 horse. Um, I should also say little things like, and you're gonna notice this on the NS, I'm gonna show you a couple things, but the way this thing is made, if you look at like the front axle and little things like this hood latch, an NX has a hood latch that's much more robust. If I pull this up, it'll raise and open the hood. The other ones just have a little pin you pull and it, it honestly it is not nearly as nice as this. So there's just little mechanical things that they've done to really make this a more robust and high quality model um, to compete with the best of them. You know, John Deere R series, whatever else you've got out there, this thing will compete with them. So that is what makes an NX an NX. And um, I should also say the cab model of this um, is bigger than the DK. The DK cab is actually the same as like a, a smaller CK cab and it's big. You can get on and off from both sides. It's got big suicide doors, but it's not as big as an NX. An NX is wider and it's a little bit longer. You've got a separate window in the back that can open. Um, you've got a little bit more space in there. So an NX cab is bigger and then you can still get this in a shuttle shift as opposed to uh, just a hydrostat. So a shuttle shift version of this is fully synchronized and you're going to hear me talk about that on the NS later. It's a fully synchronized shuttle with a fully synchronized transmission. Um, uh, the, uh, I believe it's a 24 by 24. So you've got um, you know, your regular high, medium, low, and then you've got a creeper range. So the NX shuttle shift comes standard with a creeper range, which is interesting. So that is something that is unique to this is it has a creeper range and then the cab is bigger. So behind me, I've got an NS and this is... This is the one that's weird because it's new. It just came out, we just got them. And why would you add a third tractor to the lineup? We asked them this 
and what they've told us is it could be that not really soon but in the future far off they might start doing extra things with that nx to further separate it from the current ns model and kind of because i think this is going to take the place of that honestly i think the ns is going to take the place of the nx in the lineup and um and then they're going to do something else with the NX. They've got other plans, but it's really similar. You're going to find some things on this uh, that are similar to the DK. You're going to find some things that are similar to the NX. It's like they took the two and they mashed them together. Um, it has the same engine. They all three have the same engine at 45 horse. It, but things like this hood latch, that's got the same hood latch as the NX. Uh, the front axle is real similar, real heavy. Uh, the operator station is a little bit thinner. Uh, you don't have quite as much width, um, but you've got a lot of the same standard equipment. You've got draft control. You've got the tractor mounted loader valve. You've got the standard rear remote. Um, this one that we're looking at here is a shuttle shift. I will show you a hydrostat, um, but the shuttle shift on these, it's important. It's like that NX. It is fully synchronized uh, shuttle with a fully synchronized gear range transmission. So I say that because if you get a DK shuttle shift, it is a fully synchronized shuttle, but but not with a um, fully synchronized transmission. So we call it a partially synchronized. Um, so this is really a more deluxe transmission. It's a uh, 12 by, or I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, 12 by 12. So three ranges, four gears. It's, so it's a 12 by 12 transmission. It doesn't have the creeper range that an NX would have, but it is still fully synchronized. Um, the operator station has some of the standard features, but you'd have to add some others. Like you have your automatic PTO. Uh, you have your push button for the PTO, uh, and it has cruise control standard. There's a cruise control, but a linked pedal would be something you'd have to add. So there's a couple things that it has out of the box that you would that the NX has standard, but that a DK doesn't. So it's a little bit of an upgrade. Um, the uh, the um, foot throttle, split brake, they all have split brakes, but the brake position could change on some of them. And then if you look in the back, we do have our nice three-point arms extendable links, pin type check chains. You do have draft control, regular trailer hookup, um, standard rear remote. You can add another one that's all normal. So it is really a, a more of a deluxe standard equipment tractor, really nice made rear end. But uh, the hydrostat version of this, and that's what I really want to highlight. Here's a hydrostat over here. The hydrostat version of this is mechanical linkage. It is not a it is not a drive-by-wire hydrostat. So um, it doesn't have all the standard stuff the NX does. You know, the NX has all those standard features, drive-by-wire, but it does have a little bit more reliability. So if you look into an NX's history, there were a few things that happened, and I'll tell you, they got over them really quickly. They, Coyote, Coyote is one of the few brands that make their own equipment. So when something happens in a product line that is... Uh, manufacturing issues you know they got a bad run of solenoids and they they went bad it is really good to have a company that makes their own stuff because they can identify and fix and you know ship the fixes and get the fixes to dealers way more quickly than a company that doesn't make their own stuff a company that doesn't make their own stuff is they've got to communicate back and they're dealing with somebody else's engineers and all this all this stuff has to happen and all these middlemen have all these processes and it takes longer to get it fixed for you um, when a dealer is working with the manufacturer that actually makes the equipment all that stuff happens more quickly so um, the hydrostat issues that that drive-by-wire hydrostat you'll, you'll hear a couple of them um, there was one where the solenoid went out and there was another one well it actually wasn't hydrostat related there was there was one where the uh there was a little safety on the front that went out and it wouldn't allow it to start those were fixed very quickly but they did have issues you know and because of that i think coyote kind of wanted to get away from the drive by wire a little bit at least at least they wanted to change things around a little bit and we've got our, our very reliable mechanical linkage here on an ns so an ns is just a hair smaller than an nx it has a little bit less uh, loader lift. So on the website, it says like 2,100 pounds, but we've actually been told that that is incorrect. It's closer to about 2,600 pounds. Um, it has a lot of the same standard features. It has, uh, again, the same skid steer quick attach bucket, same engine. There's just a few little differences in size and weight. So that is the question then, um, why would you buy one over the other? And that's really a question for you to answer. I, I can help as much as I can, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, take all the information and do with it what you will. 
and just see if, if you know one works for you or one doesn't they're all great i mean we've sold we've sold a ton of the nx's since 2015 we've sold a crazy amount of the dk's since they've been especially the shuttle shift because the shuttle shift dk i shouldn't understate it the shuttle shift dk like a dk 4510 is the absolute best bang for the buck on the market i mean we you can get those for like less than twenty five thousand dollars and for a tractor that size with that much capability i mean there's there's no beating it so i shouldn't understate it but it is different it's not an nx you know an nx is really quality um so yeah i hope that answers some questions uh i'm sure that i missed some stuff there's all kinds of information on these but i kind of wanted to give you an idea of the physical differences between these new models because it's really hard to find them on dealer lots I mean, the likelihood of me having all three right now with stuff i mean there's so many tractors that are sold before they even get here um i wanted people to get their eyes on them and just you know kind of see what the differences are so if you have any questions feel free to contact us um if you're interested in buying one call me. Uh, our phone number is 859-356-9091, or you can get a hold of us on our website at kittenequipment.com. Thanks.